What is up guys? So in this video we are going to be creating our own terminal commands in Linux and this is something that is both fun while also being relatively simple and we're going to also go over some other things about the terminal while we're doing this. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up a text editor in the terminal and I like to use gedit or get it. So I'll just open that up and now we have a place where we can write all of our code for our command. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in echo, like is in the thing that Amazon has, and then inside quotation marks put, put in hello world. Now if you're not familiar with this, this is actually bash or sh code, and this is exactly what we've been using to code in the terminal. So you see we can also type in commands like ls and cd into here and they will also work. But on top of that, we can also put in uh, loops and if statements and everything else that a regular programming language has. So if you don't know this, this is fine. You can uh, get code from GitHub if you want to, or you can learn. There are tons of tutorials out there. Or you can ask me, uh, message me or whatever, and I'll see if I can start working on a course for Bash and SH. All right, so now that we have our program all typed out, let's save it. And I'm going to save it in the desktop and we will title the name of our program what we want it to be executed as so I'll type in hello world which means that if I type in hello world in the terminal it's gonna run our program for us alright so now that that's all done we can go ahead and save it and I will close out of our editor now there's one more important thing that we have to do and if we don't do this our program will not be able to run and so we're going to need to click on the program, uh, right click on the program that is, and then go to properties all the way down at the bottom. Then once we're there, you see there's a bunch of information about the file. We're going to head over to the permissions tab and at the bottom, check the box, allow executing files as program. Now, if we don't do this, our command won't run. No matter what we do, it will not run. We have to check this file, this box. So now I'm going to cd into desktop, that is, if I can spell it right, cd desktop, and now we are going to run our file. So there are several ways to run an sh file. One, you can type in bash, and then the name or path to the file, which in this case is hello world. And now you see it prints out hello world. You can also do sh space and the name of the file, which is hello world. And finally, you can do dot slash and the name of the file, which is hello world. This is my preferred method because it's the fastest. All right, so now that we know that our program works and it prints out hello world for us, what we need to do is we need to move it to a place so that we can run it in any directory and we don't have to type in bash or sh or anything like that. In order to do that first, let's open up our file manager. And then in our file manager, we need to put the program somewhere that's not in our home folder. We're gonna have to go outside of our home folder. So if I go to other locations and then click on computer, you see you have all these folders and these are all the files that are on your computer all the programs are saved here, stuff like that. And you see if I open up the home folder in there, it comes back to our regular home folder. But for now, what I want us to do is we need to go to the folder that has all of the programs, all of the terminal programs. And that is in the user slash bin folder. So in user or USR slash bin is where we have all of our files and terminal stuff in there. So basically what we need to do is move our file from the desktop to this folder and it will run just like a normal terminal command. So in order to do that we're going to do cp, the name of the file which is hello world, and then the name of the directory. So we'll go slash user or usr slash bin. Now you see if we run that it won't work because it says permission denied. And the reason why permission is denied is because right now we are in the root directory, not the home directory. So we don't have access to this. And if you don't own this, your computer that you're using this on, 
you won't be able to use it. So what we need to do is we need to get access to the root of our computer. And in order to do that, it's actually very, very simple. All we have to do is when we open up our terminal, type in sudo, which stands for super user do. And now anything that we put after this will run as a as root. So we'll do sudo cp hello world slash user slash bin. Now you see when we run it, it'll ask us for our password because we typed in sudo. And you can do this for anything. Usually when it says permission denied, when you try to run a program, that just means that you need to type in sudo in front of it. All right, so we've successfully run the command. So if I type in hello world, you'll see it runs and I didn't have to put bash or sh or anything. And if I do cd and I type in hello world, you'll see that it still runs as a regular terminal command. So this is something that I think is really cool. You can customize it, do whatever you want with this. But thank you guys so much for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Also click here to subscribe to my channel and click here to watch another related video. You can do this even if you're on mobile. It's a new kind of annotation. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.